Hey, what's up guys, Stefan here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to key track your samples in Battery 4, Ultra Beat, and the EXS24. Now this was heavily requested from my last video where I took a vocal sample and I put it into battery four and then I mapped it right across the keyboard. Well, in that case, it was my drum pads, but essentially it was mapped across the keyboard. So when you think of sampling, you're probably not really going to think of something like this, but this is a nice little neat trick you can do just to add some background stuff, especially with vocals. Cool, so we're going to do it in the Battery 4 first, and then we're going to move to Ultra Beat and then the EXS24. I'll probably put some um, timestamps down the bottom so you can jump to whatever one is necessary for you. All right, guys, so let's open up Battery 4 to get started. Cool, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna access our sample from the media browser. So remember, you can always access all the files that are in your project directly from the media browser. So we're under project here. If we click on the sample and then just drag it straight into battery four, we're good to go. Cool, so using battery four, we have the luxury of being able to edit our sample. Um, so it's gonna be a bit different in the Ultra Beat and the X20, EXS24, but um, let's play our sample here. Okay, so we just want the beginning part really, so let's chop that out. Now when we press C1, we just get the beginning part. Okay, so from here, all we need to do now is go to Setup, turn on Key Track, and we want to use uh, one voice, not 32, because we want we want it to be monophonic, so that when we when we press one note, the next note we press will automatically cut off the first note. The technical name for that is choking. Okay, and the final step is to set our key range. Now we want to map it across the whole keyboard because uh, it just makes life simpler. So that's kind of from around I think C uh, min minus C two. That didn't work. C minus two rather <laughs> um, to C eight. Okay, so that gives us the whole keyboard now. But with this technique, it only really sounds good. Uh, the range is only good for about an octave or so. And that's because the speed of the sample and the pitch are directly related. So the higher the pitch, the faster the sample. The lower the pitch, the slower the sample. So it's only really good from around the root notes to about an octave of where the sample actually really sits. But that's how you do it in battery four, nice and simple. Now we jump onto the Ultra Beat. Now the Ultra Beat is slightly different because we don't have the luxury of being able to chop up our sample within the Ultra Beat. So we're gonna do it right here within the Logic uh, Arrange window. And we're just gonna use the Marquee tool. That was a bit off. Let's do it from about here. And we're just gonna chop that out right there. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to bounce it in place so it becomes its own file entirely. Um, we'll call it Ultra Beat. Cool, so now it's its own sample. All we have to do now is open up the Ultra Beat. Now what I'll tell you to do normally is to go up here and select uh, drag and drop samples from the patches here and um, basically that will allow you to drag and drop samples as it suggests however i don't actually have that right now because i don't have the additional content installed um, so you might be in the same situation as me um, and if in that case what you would do is go to we want to go to the top uh, sample by the way we want to go to 25 because it will only work what we're trying to do will only work on this 25 okay just right and click it and go to init or uh, initial or initiate I think it's initial <laughs> it stands for initial i believe um then we want to go to sample 
Now what that'll do, that will just reset all of this and it will give us this box here to drop our sample in. Okay, so we want to go to our Ultra Beats sample that we just created, drag it and drop it right in. Okay, now this is where the magic happens. We want to go up to C3 on our keyboard, okay, because it will only start working from C3. And literally that is it for the ultra beat so it's actually quicker to do it in the ultra beat than it is battery 4 because the ultra beat will key track it from c3 upwards for you and it will also create the choke group so that um, each sample will cut off the uh, previous one okay so that's the ultra beat and that's pretty simple next we have the exs 24 and this is going to be similar to the ultra beat what we want to do is to head to edit. If you don't see edit, that's because you don't have advanced tools turned on. So you want to go to uh, Logic Pro 10, preferences, advanced tools, and all of this stuff should be on anyways. If you're using Logic Pro 10, it might as well all be on. Otherwise, you're pretty much using GarageBand. That's what I say to people. Um, so let's take that off. Um, then you want to go to you want to go to edit here. And it's going to be the same process where we drag and drop in our sample. Boom. And as you can see, it's mapped it across the whole keyboard automatically. And it's already set uh, it to pitch. So it's already going to do what we need it to do. So this essentially probably is the quickest way to do it. But using the battery 4 has its, its benefits because it has the uh, sampling engine where you can tweak stuff more easily. With this one, you would actually have to save it. So it will, it will prompt you anyway. So if you click out of it, it's going to ask you, do you want to save? And then you'll go through all that process. All right, guys, I hope this has helped. And I hope that it has inspired you to create some great music this week. If you learned something new or you have any questions, be sure to hit me up down in the comment section below. I reply as much comments as I can. Pretty much everyone. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for music production videos every single week. I've been Stefan. And as always, happy beat making.